So this video is going to talk about and go over some of the focus tools and measurement tools that we commonly use and the, how to make them work. So in the toolbox we have the focus tool and our measurement tools and we're going to start with the focus tool. So when we click on this focus icon, the focus tool comes up. And I'm just going to switch back and forth so we can see that. So we want the focus tool. You can size that by grabbing onto it. So we just move that focus tool around whatever size we want. I'm going to make it long and narrow so that it's on the edge of the feature that we want to focus. I click on the image window anywhere and it focuses. Now to save that focus we need to measure a point. So we're going to click on the measurement icon and point and press enter on the jog box and it takes a point. We click OK and then we go to the model window and we bring that into view and it shows up as a box and now I'm going to construct a datum origin from that. So I click on the construct tab select datum origin and I select that point that I measured from my focus point and I zero it in the z-axis and I click OK. Now when I run that program it's going to save that. So I'm just going to test this to run the program. Click OK. It focuses and it saves that. So whenever we focus we need to measure a point, construct a z-axis origin, and then it saves that focus. So I'm going to go back to the image window and we're going to focus on just another edge of the part. And again we want our lighting, and we're lighting from the bottom, to be about 50 percent. And wherever I have my cursor mouse position and on the lower left I can see the light percentage and I want that to be about 50 percent. Well, again I've got my focus tool. I'm going to center it on the part so as I move the part around I want the part to be about at the center of that focus tool. Once I have it sized to what I want then I can click on the image window and it focuses and then I measure a point again press the enter on the jog box click OK to save that point and I'm going to construct the datum origin and then I select my measured point for that focus and I zero on the z-axis and I click OK. And I'm going to run this again just to test my program and my focusing. So I run the program, click OK. It's going to focus on that and focus on that and we're good. Next we're going to go over some basic measurement functions and typically we're going to measure diameters and edges. So I'm going to measure this diameter so I position my feature in the center of the window I go back to my toolbox and I select the feature finder so I click on that icon and now a crosshair shows up by my mouse pointer so I click on the edge of the surface and I click measure it as a circle so I select three points and it measures the circle I can size that and then remeasure and then it's going to keep that size and then I click OK. I can also double click on the edge of that circle and sometimes it doesn't like that the way I did that so I'm going to cancel that. I need to be pretty intentional about clicking on that so I double click on that and it automatically measures and I can resize and remeasure and click OK. I can also measure an arc from that so when I click once it shows up as a circle. I click again right on that same spot and now I can select three points and measure an arc. And again I can resize that and remeasure and then click OK. So I'm going to run this program just to test it. So we focus 
and select, set our origins and then we measure those features and we click OK. So we're going to measure an edge. So I'm going to move my feature to the center of the image window. I'm going to go to my toolbox and I want the average weak edge. That's what we're going to use in measuring this part. So I click on that tab and then I click on the surface and I drag it over and that's going to size my window and I can resize the search area of that so I just click on it and stretch it out and I always have to hit remeasure to save that if I don't hit remeasure it's not going to save that resizing so I click remeasure and I click OK and it measures the edge now as long as that average weak edge is still selected I can measure more points and I can make this as wide as I want it just makes the search area wider and I can stretch it out and remeasure. Typically on points we just want to measure them fairly narrow because we just want that specific part of the feature to be measured. So I remeasure and click OK and I'm gonna run this program so we can see what happens with my focusing focus and set my origins, measure, and it goes pretty fast. So I'm going to measure a radius on this corner and it's going to be measured as an arc. So I go back to my toolbox, I select the feature finder, I click on the edge and I resize that and remeasure and save it. So that's measuring a basic radius or arc. Now I'm going to go up to the top right of the part and we have a, a fairly large arc or radius. So I'm going to focus on there again. So I'm going to go back to my toolbox, select the focus tool, and I'm going to resize it. So now it's going to be horizontal. And I want to move my image to the center of that focus tool and I click on the image window and it focuses and then I need to cons measure a point and I press enter on the jog box to save that point I click OK and I'm gonna I need to make that my datum origin in the z-axis to save that so I go back to the construct tab construct datum origin I bring my model into view. Now my focus point is right here in the upper right. So I select that. I make that my z-axis origin. And I click OK. I'm going to go back to the image window. I'm going to move my part so that I can see that arc. So I can see the top edge of that arc. Now I'm going to go back to my toolbox, find the feature finder, measure that as an arc. I'm going to stretch it out, remeasure, click OK, reposition my part. If you go too far, too close to the edge of this image window, I'm not going to be able to measure. So I have to be within that, so I click on that as an arc again. I'm going to resize it, remeasure, and I can click again if I want to measure another arc there, which I'm going to do. I move my part into the center of the image window, measure that as an arc, resize it, remeasure, and then OK. I'm going to go back to the model window, and I'm going to zoom in to my three arcs that I measured. And I'm going to construct an arc from those three arcs so I get the full surface area of that arc. So I construct a circle and I want it as a radius and I just click and select those three arcs. There's two that are coincident to each other so I select the ones I want, so 15 and 16. And I need to check composite so it finds the average of that. 
So as I click that, that's the result. The radius is 252, and I can report that my X and Y location, whatever I need to do, and then I click OK, and it constructs a radius from that. So now it shows up as a diameter constructed radius.